Okay, so we're gonna kick this thing off with step one. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. So the question there is, is your life unmanageable? Uh, how do your relationships look? Do they suck? Uh, can you hold anything together within those relationships? Do people believe you? Do you still have trust with anybody? Any credibility other than those that you're getting high or drinking with? Um, that's the qualifying marker there. Uh, we have to recognize that our life is completely and utterlessly unmanageable. If that's the case, well, congratulations. You've then done step one. Uh, that's, that's basically what it is. I can't convince you that you're an addict. You have to qualify yourself that you, you have an addictions issue, whether it be alcohol, uh, drugs, whatever, whatever the... Uh, the, the issue may be. That's up to you to qualify. That's not for anybody to tell you that uh, you're an addict or you're an alcoholic or all of those things. Um, you're the only one that needs to be convinced here. And uh, that's, that's between you and you and nobody else. Um, in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, I am going to kick this thing off with a little bit of the pre-preface. So what is a preface? We have to understand that this, this book right here uh, is a textbook on the way that we're to live. So if you want to hear this uh, right now, this is the fourth edition of the book Alcoholics Anonymous. The first edition appeared in April 1939, and in the following 16 years, more than 300,000 copies went into circulation. The second edition, published in 1955, reached a total of more than... 1,150,500 copies. The third edition, which came off press in 1976, achieved a circulation of approximately 19,550,000 in all formats. Now, this is the, the place here where you really want to pay attention. Because this book has become the basic text for society and has helped such large number of alcoholic men and women to recovery so recovery is an ongoing process okay we have to remember that what do they mean by recovery that's ongoing uh and there it means also that there's going to come a time when you know uh that process stops to a degree okay um, there exists, so I'm going to continue to read, there exists strong sentiment against the radical changes being made in it. Therefore, the first portion of this volume describes the AA recovery program has been left largely untouched in the course of re uh, revisions made for the second, third, and fourth edition. The section called the doctor's opinion has been kept intact, just as it was originally written in 1939 by the late Dr. William D. Silkworth, our society's great medical benefactor. The second edition added the appendices, the 12th traditions, and the 12 traditions and the direction for getting in touch with AA. But the chief change was in the section of personal stories, which was expanded to reflect the fellowship's growth, Bill's story, Dr. Bob's nightmare, and one other personal history from the first edition where were retained intact. Three were editions and one of these were retitled. New versions of two stories were written with new titles. 30 complete new stories were added and the story section was divided into three parts under the same heading of same heading that are used now. So basically the preface of the book is telling you that it hasn't been changed, okay? Forward to the first edition. This is the forward as it appeared in the first printing of the first edition in 1939. This is very, very, very important, this top paragraph here. We of Alcoholics Anonymous are more than 100 men and women who have recovered, recovered, which means the process has stopped. It's done, recovered, past tense recovered from a seemingly hopeless state of mind and body 
to show other alcoholics precisely how we have recovered is the main purpose of this book. Stop. So the main purpose of this book is to show you how we became recovered, okay? I like alcohol, but I liked heroin just as much as I loved alcohol. The, the, the substance isn't the key here. The key here is this book is going to show you, or I can help you guide you through with the help of this book, how to become recovered from addiction. Recovered. I go to bars today. I don't drink. I go to bars to play guitar, sing. I can go wherever the hell I want. I can go to uh, music festivals where people are smoking weed and drinking, and it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I have an insurance policy against the things that are going, ar going on around me that uh, I used to maybe enjoy and enjoy a little too much, and it became a problem for me, you know? In the beginning, it was all fun. Then there was a little bit of problems. And then all of a sudden, I just ended up going to fucking jail all the time. That's what happened, right? That's that's addict math for this guy right here. Um, so with the help of this book and that first step that we talked about, which is the beginning phase, you can become 100% recovered. Never, ever, ever, ever have to think about drugs and alcohol again. You will never have to come down ever again because that's the shittiest part of getting high is coming down um so we'll continue to read for them we hope these pages will prove so convincing that no further authentication will be necessary we think this account of our experience will help everyone to better understand the alcoholic or addict Many do not comprehend that the alcoholic slash addict is a very sick person. And besides, we are sure that our way of living has its advantages for all. It is important that we remain anonymous because we are too few at present to handle the overwhelming number of personal appeals which may result from this publication. Being mostly business or professional folk, we could not carry, we could not well carry on our occupations in such an event. We would like it understood that our alcoholic addiction work is an avocation. Avocation. Super, super important here. When writing or speaking publicly about alcoholism or addiction, we urge each of our fellowship to omit his personal name, designate, designating himself instead as a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. So you're not even supposed to say, hey, my name is such and such. I am. Nope. I'm a member of the fellowship. And that's it. That's all you have to say. Continue to read. Very earnestly, we ask the press also to observe this request, for otherwise we shall be greatly handicapped. Super important here. We, do no, we are not an organization in the conventional sense of the word. There are no fees or dues whatsoever. The only requirement for membership is an honest desire to stop using and drinking. I don't give a shit if you come to the meeting drunk or high. You just got to be honest in your repeal that you don't want it anymore. Okay? We are not allied with any particular faith, sect, or denomination, nor do we oppose anyone. We simply wish to be helpful to those who are afflicted. That's it. So when people talk about AA or any of the big blue book programs or even NA as being... A religious or gaudy program that's not true we're nowhere near that in fact most of us are not religious some of us are uh, the simple fact is and we'll get into what that higher power thing is and it's a lot simpler than what most people think it is um, please refrain from contempt prior to investigation please come along with me in this path and investigate with me what that higher power may look like and i promise you won't be as scary as what you think it might be um but remember we're only here to help we're not here to call anybody out or make anybody intentionally feel bad or guilty or any of these things we're here to actually help you and if you want to be recovered i mean recovered nothing holding you back Nothing, no, no, I need to go see the pharmacist for this or any of that. Um, you're welcome to do those things while participating in this program. Um, but if you don't want that in your life for the rest of your life, 
something being a ball and chain. This is the right place to be. Uh, I'm free. Uh, there's nothing that really holds me back today except for the my own issues that are laced in my head. Like I said, I have a thinking problem. I don't have a drinking problem and I don't have a using problem. It's my brain that is infected with the disease of addiction and alcoholism. So with that, I hope something here that I've said reaches out and you're always welcome to ask me questions at the bottom and I will 100% respond to all questions that are particular towards addiction and recovery and so on and so forth. I bid you all farewell and, and may you have a wonderful, wonderful day today.